Hi guys, thank you for joining me. And today we're gonna have fun because we're gonna be making these super cool and easy to make drawstring bags. This one is made out of fleece with shopkins on it. And this one made out of this cool vinyl. It's not real leather, but I found it online and I decided to give it a try because my little one is already grown and uh, I don't want to lug a huge diaper bag with me. All I need is like a snack and a juice, a couple diapers and a little bit of wipes. That's pretty much it. And this thing is awesome for it. I don't have to carry it, it's not going to be heavy, and it's like a backpack. But I decided to try and do it with this one because it's cool looking. And you can make them out of any fabric you want. I found this vinyl online somewhere. I was searching for something totally different. And this came up as an ad from some site. I don't even remember from what and uh, so I decided to try it and see what it is I know it's not real leather it's not authentic to this brand but I said why not I just want something cool and inexpensive and if it looks the part why not I'm just gonna wear it for myself so um, that's why I decided to try it I bought a piece and uh, it looks like it turned out pretty nice. So, few things you will need. Any fabric. You will need cord that is widely available anywhere uh, hardware stores. I bought it on eBay, but I mean pretty much anywhere. And then you need clips or pins if you're gonna be using with fabric pins are perfectly fine with with vinyl or leather I like to use my clips because I don't have to poke it through and uh, you know if I poke it too far and it's gonna be visible you know but if you're just doing it for yourself probably nobody's gonna notice it but that's just my preference but you use whatever you have right now and what's good with them they are so small you can literally put them in your back pocket if you fold them or a purse or anything you know if you need to take it somewhere with you they very useful if you have kids because they always want to take something with them to visit grandma and uh, this is just perfect to put their toys or coloring books or something in it. Put it on the shoulders and that's it. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's begin. Here are my two pieces of fleece that I caught for the smaller bag. And here are the two pieces of this fancy vinyl that I caught. This one's gonna be a little bit bigger and this one's gonna be a little bit smaller. The first thing that we need to do is stitch about an inch, I would say, from the top um, because you need to put two pieces of cord inside. So two pieces of cord will have to fit in here. So if you have a thicker cord, just do a little bit more thicker opening or if you have very skinny um, cord, which I wouldn't do a very skinny because it might then dig into your skin, but I found that about an inch is just perfect. So, and then in here we have to do the same thing. Like if it's this is gonna be my top because I want the face to look at me, so I will do the same thing. I would do the inch in here, and it stretches to a little bit, so it's still cool. 
I will do an inch here and then I will do an inch here and then an inch here and an inch here. That would be the first thing that I would do. Alrighty, so I pinned all of my tops where the cord will go and uh, I'm gonna sew them in. I'm gonna sew them from this side um, about a quarter of an inch from this and then uh, from the edge of this one and I will be right back. With leather or full leather I like to lengthen my stitch to about 3.5 Don't forget to back up and here it is and this is how it looks on the front just a simple stitch that's it Okay, so I stitched in all the tops and um, now we have to put them together. Okay, we'll be putting them pretty sides facing each other. But before we <clears throat> sew them in and stuff, we need tabs. So here are my tabs that I cut from a piece of, piece of um, leftover fabric. And uh, I cut just random pieces of, um, this is my fall leather, but you can use um, anything that has uh, some strength to it, like canvas or outdoor fabric. So, for the tabs, you put uh, the tabs wrong uh, sides together because we wanna see the pretty sides when, you know, outside. So, let's see. I'm gonna put about half an inch from the bottom. Uh, so it clears my seam allowance on here You can do a little bit more up Maybe we'll do three quarters of an inch So you do the sandwich make a sandwich then You put the pieces of leather or canvas or anything just to give you some strength on here because this stitch will have the most stress to it because you're always going to be tugging on it when you put in the bag on and uh, put it taking it off so let's do the same to this side and then we just clip it all around
Alrighty. So here's my sandwich. And for this one, we need to do exactly the same stuff. Uh, pin around. And we need to make tabs for the cord to go through over here too. And with this one, I'm gonna do the tabs from the same vinyl. And I want my tabs to be a little bit nicer than I put it in here. So I'm gonna cut, let's see, about two inches. And then I'm gonna let's see we can close them halfway make a little mark so I'm gonna fold them to the center and then fold it on itself and then I'm just gonna go and stitch through Right here, about an eighth of an inch. Let's see, let's do this one. Fold in half, make a mark. And then just fold to the middle. And you will have a really nice tab gonna stitch them through and I'll be right back Okay, let's see, here it is, really nice, yeah there, and uh, so here are my tabs, now I will do the same stuff, uh, put the tabs together, and I will put them inside, like about three quarter of, a, of an inch, like this and because this is already a full leather um, it's not super strong but um, it's not light either so I am not gonna be doing a sandwich like this because it's enough to hold on itself because this one is uh, stretchy and it's fabric so I like to do the strengthening uh, sandwich for it. For this one, uh, I'm not gonna do it because it's enough on its own. These tabs might be a little thick. Uh, for the machine uh, because I don't know which one you have um, it, it might go through might not but if it doesn't you can always use the hand cranking and uh, just go through with it or you can do a less bulky tabs too but um, it depends what machine you have so um, Mine should go through. Alrighty. So, we need to start stitching from this stitch line. Because we need to leave this open 
because we need to put cord in there if we stitch it in there's nowhere to put the cord through so these openings has to be free of stitching or anything so you, we start either from this or this end and go around same here you start on one end start on one end and go around and uh, I'm gonna stitch around and I'll be right back Okay, we're coming up to this tab part. And let's see, I'm gonna go slow. My machine takes it pretty okay, so. Okay, so I stitched them around. Now I'm gonna, you don't have to, but um, I'm gonna clip those a little bit. So they are out of the way. And then I'm gonna clip the corners. And now we're gonna flip it over and see. So, right here, when we flip, we got the tab. And there's another one coming out. If you want to spend more time and um, and make it even more nicer which it's really unnecessary but um, you can always make a lining um, for for them but um, in this situation I'm just showing how to do it and then you would decide what would you like to do Okay, so here it is. I'll cut the threads. Um, all we need to do is um, put the cord in. Okay, so here I got the cord. And I'm going to use brown one for this one and white one for this one. So how would I measure the cord? And I bought this cord uh, on eBay. So um, it's uh, widely available everywhere. So let's see. To measure the cord, you will need to have 
enough from the beginning and to the end of this corner and then you need to have as this much and this much as the same way here and way back so when you cinch it in together pretty much like this you'll have enough to put on your shoulders um, you can always make it cut it bigger and uh, you know and see um, but make sure you don't cut less than the, this much because then it's going to be too tight so this would be one but you need uh, two of those I'm gonna cut just a little bit bigger just in case and then you need exactly the same for this side Alrighty. so this one's cut Now let's cut this one. I cut just a little bigger or a little bit longer just to be safe. This cord is not expensive at all. So So we got two of this one and the best way to put the cord through is to use a safety pin. So, And then let's start from one side. out we go to this one alrighty so one side is in And then we'll just tie a knot in here and then we need to put this cord now we're gonna start from this side uh, right here in this opening we go then opposite way to from this end to this end and then we would jump from this one to this one and go back this way What we need to do here is put one through and just tie a knot. And that's it. And this way it's gonna cinch, and you will have 
enough room to put it on the shoulders. So, I'm going to do the same thing to this one and uh, we'll see how it looks. and this is how they look and when you cinch them up they're gonna be really nice and pretty and very um, inexpensive and uh, very comfortable. You can make them in literally less than, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. So this is it. I hope you like it and I hope you give it a try. Well, that's it on these cute bags. I hope you enjoyed the video and subscribe and don't forget to hit the like button so you don't miss my future videos and I will see you later. Bye bye.